Okay, good morning. Want to see if the, the volume is okay? okay. Good morning. Hopefully. Yeah, it is. So I wanted to make another video about Bitcoin and uh, on the current events because they're interesting. Um, so on the weekly, as I said, that we we could continue to the downside. Well, this is exactly what we're doing. We are not falling so much uh, suddenly. Um, there is a, there is a chance that we start to recover from here this money fall and uh, start going to the upside. Right now, I'm monitoring the the other time frames, the lower time frames to see where we end this up. But uh, yeah, on the daily, we're definitely. Um, breaking this to the downside with the money fall c coming down um, probably we we go to 20 24 or 25k it would be interesting to see uh, where we re recover from now on the four hour actually this looks bullish to me why because we have this money fall about 35 then we have higher money fall uh, 20 and now this money fall is uh, still about 16 so if if we uh, start uh, going up from here and we print green uh, dot momentum it would be really bullish i think and we should have uh, long position on the four hour this is what i'm waiting for to to see some green dot we might uh, continue to the downside but uh, i think if we uh, start recovering from there it would be really nice we will see what happens also with the stock market because uh, the stock market might uh, might dump and in this case bitcoin will also dump but uh, right now it is consolidating uh, going sideways the stock market to our we already have a green dot but um, uh, momentum is still to the downside, money fall is still to the downside, we have VOX, so we might uh, have a little bit more of downside, but ju just look at the one hour, how beautiful it is, like the one hour is, uh, it has bullish divergence on the momentum, um, not yet on the money fall, um, but it has definitely um, bullish divergence uh, versus the price momentum versus the price so it potentially we can uh, wonk here uh, actually I'm already wonk I think uh, from yesterday I tried wonk from here and I'm waiting I'm still waiting but uh, maybe I can add a little bit to my uh, wonk position here also as you can see on the 45 minute um, it, it is just uh, uh, that uh, the money fall is a little bit thick to, to the red and we might continue down so have this in mind uh, there is always ch chance of losing and heavier stop loss now let's see uh, what is happening on the Ichimoku where below the cloud clearly bearish on the 30 minute but on the 2 hour uh, come on vote yes let's see the 6 hour the 6 hour we are on the war Bollinger we are actually uh, we actually started breaking uh, from the cloud to the downside so we are below the 6 hour cloud uh, Ichimoku cloud which is really bearish if we uh, don't hold here on this level which was uh, the previous you know we might do something like a double top however if we don't do double top and continue to the downside it would be really bearish I would say because we're losing this uh, we're virtually below the cloud on the 6 hour and we might dump more to the downside on the daily Ichimoku we're uh, near the lower B Bollinger band um, which uh, yeah we might attempt potential walk but be careful because we might uh, just continue to the downside 
what is happening here is that on the daily we are, st we are also transitioning to the downside uh, on the quote so uh, the Tenkan Sen is a 28 uh, 300 uh, it seems we'll stay below this if we stay below this it's uh, it would be bearish yes. so let's see what happens and uh, yeah I'll definitely look to see what Bitcoin is doing whether we uh, go above the 30 minute on the 30 minute on the cloud it would be really important now I'm sure I think we have some uh, bullish divergence on the MACD and uh, let's see pivot MACD RSI so definitely we have bullish divergence on the RSI and the MACD here so this puppy might be good for longing so I want to see also the CVD CVD and funding uh, the funding there is something happening on the 30 minute in the uh, on the funding that is not showing uh, good mm. so oper operator is continues to go up which means that people are longing uh, I don't like the funding too much I think if we were at lower levels we could have been better but hmm. interesting so let me see the 15 minute and um, if we have another wave like this to the downside a little bit to hold the wall uh, I will attempt a long position from here until then so there is a harmonic pattern to the upside with target 2 at 26 500 target 3 is 27 300 um, so yeah, I believe after all we'll have some uh, upside, maybe at least to target 2, which is a 26500, and then we'll see. I think it would be a little bit more, but uh, that's, that's me. Okay, so that's, that's my two cents. Uh, for today and maybe tomorrow uh, maybe we go sideways more a little bit or more um, trying to recover to the upside and um, definitely take some profit uh, at this 26 uh, 700 or 800 it might be another resistance it will be resistance i think because we have some volume traded if we go there just make sure that you take some profit and maybe leave the rest yeah so that's it from my side have a good uh, thursday and freya day tomorrow <laughs>